वेलकम टू हराइजन This edition of Horizon is going to talk about the loss of jobs in media. The press in India is going through an economic crisis following the outbreak of the COVID-19 and the announcement of the nationwide lockdown by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on March 24th, 2020. The economy came to a grinding halt. The news industry was particularly affected. for an institution whose purpose is to provide citizens with accurate and reliable information that prides itself on its role as the fourth estate and as the watchdog of society the news media has actually suffered great losses during this crisis in fact the news media is strangely coy about scrutinizing itself as a result the large scale layoffs salary cuts forced furloughs and closures that have taken place in multiple media houses across the country including some of the biggest names in the industry have remained a well kept secret barely known outside the profession Indrajit Kundu associate editor India Today TV will now tell us how the job market has been affected in the electronic media It's very difficult for me to speak or to take a neutral stance as far as sacking or job loss or retrenchment of journalists are concerned. But as you know, that most media organizations, especially the private ones, are they run on a business model which is heavily based on advertisement revenue. It really becomes difficult for for various television channels, media houses to operate because only the top few able to somehow manage to get hold of. a major section of that pie the remaining will not get it and they will suffer and that is exactly what has happened so say suppose if i talk about specific case of west bengal channels which are right at the top as far as ratings are concerned and therefore that brings us to the this huge issue of television rating point which also in a sense the content you know channels which have the maximum number of ratings the maximum traction with audience they end up eating up the maximum share of the advertisement revenue pie in which already in any case has shrunk and uh, has become smaller and therefore it becomes unviable and unstable for several media organizations because specifically in television it's a very high cost and low return on investment industry in a sense feel bound to retrench journalists journalists who are on the payroll it's not something which is unexpected it's bound to happen if there are layoffs happening in other industries if there are layoffs happening in the fmcg sector in the hospitality sector in any other sector so why keep the media up so the media is also an industry it's also facing uh, the same problems lack of revenues advertisers are not invest uh, revenues and therefore companies are retrenching manpower the other question is that are these retrenchments really required it's what as i said the overall economic gloom if the company thinks that they are not being able to operate and sustain the operations they will have to scale it down so they will retrench journalists and it's not just journalists in the media organization sales and marketing people have also been retrenched other department people have also been retrenched and so has journalists possibly the in certain situations companies may do without a layoff but yet they do the layoff because they in any case had more band power more staff to do the same job that they would require one or two people to do so they had large and heavy teams so that obviously will be sacrificed however in a crisis situation like this even the most nominal of band power that is there even they are being chucked off simply because of the reason that this has become unviable because it's a high cost and low return in i come from this fraternity and i am an employee myself of course i will stand in solidarity with hundreds of journalists scores of them across the country have lost their job spare a thought for me coming from a very established and one of the top media houses somehow i have been able to manage to scrape through this this tumultuous time but i have seen right around me many people losing jobs my colleagues my friends journalists photo journalists for that matter they have lost job because what's happening is many of these news organizations now want multitaskers so they want the scope for photo journalists and video journalists is really shrinking because 
they want multimedia journalists a lot of photo journalists and video journalists have lost their job and they are trying to cope up with these with these changes in the industry how they will do it only time will say but yes the industry is evolving at a very rapid pace and we as journalists we need to evolve as well and acquire new skill sets to remain relevant because if you are not relevant your job or your position does is not relevant anymore you cannot expect your job to remain is the plight of a few hundred journalists who have lost jobs and several hundred more who have been forced to cope with reduced salaries worth worrying about when millions of impoverished workers including migrant laborers have been left in dire straits when the predicament is different for different people but losing jobs and moving around with reduced salaries is not an easy task clearly the predicament of the affected journalists cannot be compared to the destitution of workers deprived of most of the basic needs however their pain fear and despair are nonetheless real or distressing Renowned sports journalist Pratik will now tell us whether the job cuts are absolutely necessary or not or is it just a means to an end of stifling voices or faulty business models in Indian media It is undeniable that millions of jobs have been lost world over under the impact of COVID-19 but it would be wrong to blame the job losses in India solely on COVID-19 Our economy is in doldrums but it had been in doldrums even before the pandemic as far as i am concerned the current job loss is more due to corporate greed the economy is in distress but the companies won't accept reduced profit the company has suffered huge loss is an euphemism for this time we won't be able to meet our profit target so what do you do you fire some people and cut salaries of the rest that's it 12 crore people losing their livelihood cannot be explained with covid-19 the indifference of the establishment if not inefficiency is directly responsible for this in uk australia the scandinavian countries governments have made efforts to save even private sector jobs with follow schemes where is that effort in our country here governments are relaxing labor laws giving employers a free hand in firing and underpaying people people who still have jobs hardly have money to spend while everything is becoming more and more expensive i don't see any plan anywhere to reverse this trend so my guess is more people are going to lose jobs in near future veteran journalist obhijit shame thinks such behavior of corporates especially towards senior journalists who have dedicated the best years of their career to a particular organization is illegal and also goes on to expose the skeletons in the cupboards of some of india's oldest and most reputed media outlets ever since the lockdown started in the third week of march we have been seeing a spate of job losses across several sectors starting with aviation hospitality it retail and also media and entertainment the job losses in the media have not been very well reported but media especially the print media is in the throes of an unprecedented crisis many have lost their jobs many papers have shut down their editions some magazines have shifted to the digital format some people have been asked to accept leave without pay people who have worked with an organization for almost 3 decades were summarily asked to leave the organization in most cases it was push meant that if you resign all your requirements and all your dues will be met accordingly in due course but when the push didn't work it came to shove and that actually meant sacking or termination of services no exact number can be estimated but it will definitely go into a few thousands if it's a pandemic this feature has been pan india all the major media houses have sacked people at all levels from junior to senior one has to say a few words in favor of the management also because in the first two months of the lockdown it did face an unprecedented crisis starting with the reluctance of the vendors to pick up the papers distribution marketing everything suffered a lot of crisis for the last 3 decades or even more newspapers and most of the magazines in india 
thrived on the ad driven model meaning suppose your newspaper stand price is around 4 rupees actually the printing cost and other cost if you combine all of them it will work out to 15 rupees it's the ads which helped you buy the paper at lower price i think it was a wake up call for all the newspaper owners across india it was time to give up the ad driven model and think of something better and something which is more sustainable why did the print media face such a unprecedented crisis first was there was no plan b for most of the newspaper house management once the ads started drying up whether it was government ads state government ads corporate ads march april if you remember paper which used to be of 24 pages or 32 pages came down to just 16 pages with lot of open pages and lot of reading material in such a scenario they hurriedly went for the first available option that was to cut jobs and any discerning reader would know staff cost is just a fraction of the total cost of bringing out a paper so when you combine all of them staff is just a fraction but it was a knee jerk reaction almost all newspaper managements followed the same line of action and some of the hallowed ones also they also had to resort to such a step well the journalists didn't sit idle in most cases when they were the sole earning member of the family they had to eat humble pie and sign on the dotted line but those who were more brave and those who had another earning member in the family many of them took the legal route it's true that ads for the print media have come down with most of it going to tv channels social media search engines and also the web portals but i think where newspapers score very highly is in terms of content and it stays in front of you so superior content and when the reader can pay extra for so many other things in their daily walk of life i think they won't mind paying a little more extra for superior reading content Beyond the personal suffering, the state of news media and the situation of journalists have other wider implications that have made matters of public interests. You know, each layoff and closure signals our information ecosystem becoming poorer and our information sources becoming fewer. Each layoff, cutback, closure also signals the weakening of democracy in India as newsrooms hollow out and there are fewer journalists to keep track on power and raise questions in the public. A number of studies in the United States exploring the impact of local news coverage on core qualities of a healthy democracy such as the public's knowledge of politics and exercise of franchise have found that erosions in local news are tied to reductions in civic engagement some of this research has examined the impact of declines in newsroom staffing and indicates that shrinking newsrooms have a negative influence on politics and governance Interestingly, scholars from fields as diverse as epidemiology and geography have raised the alarm about the risks of losing the critical layer of news and information provided by local news, which is often to report the first story, covering it long before it becomes a national issue. Undoubtedly, the lockdown due to COVID-19 has plunged the economy into a major crisis and all sectors have been affected very adversely but at such an uncertain and anxious time these retrenchments are callous beyond belief the media industry needs to collectively respond to this situation keeping the welfare of its organized workers central to its considerations This edition of Horizon talk about the loss of jobs in media. Thank you for listening to Horizon. This edition was produced by Shampa Jodhuri, Ghoshal edited by Shuranjan Dash and narration and interviews by Shauli Chakraborty.